Welcome to another short training video on internal auditing according VDA 6.3 and IATF 16949, which is primarily applicable for automotive suppliers and their sub-tier suppliers. In this video we will focus on VDA 6.3 questions, P2.1 to P2.7 which are related to the project management process to verify that the project process is effectively implemented. We will now look at what VDA 6.3 P2 questions to ask the project manager to assess if the project will be managed with the necessary resources to ensure that the project milestones will be achieved according the customer timeline. Question P2.1 Is a project management established with a project organization? Our company's project management process is described in the project management manual that meets our customer-specific requirements. The roles, tasks, competence and responsibilities of the project leader are defined. All the expertise required for implementation is established. We have an interdisciplinary project team from different departments, and their contacts are known. The responsibilities and authority of the team members are also established. The team members of the project are qualified to carry out their tasks. And our suppliers are integrated in the project management process. Question P2.2 Are all resources required for the project implementation planned and available and are changes reported? Resource planning takes the customer requirements into account and is based on the contract covering the project. The people and material resources will be made available according to the customer milestones as defined in their ramp-up planning for the different customer build phases. To ensure that all employees, production and test equipment will be available at the right time and capable to achieve the customer volumes. Review and adjustment of resource planning is carried out when changes occur that are triggered by the customer as well as internal changes or supplier changes. The critical path is given special consideration within the planning to ensure the people and equipment will be available and capable at the right time. The necessary project budget for personnel and equipment is planned and released. The project team's workload has to be considered to ensure they can focus on the project activities. Question P2.3 Is there a project plan and has this been coordinated with the customer? The project plan meets the specific customer requirements. All defined milestones are fully incorporated in the project plan, according the customer development and production build phases, and the internal realization phases. A review is carried out at the milestones defined in the project plan to check that all planned activities are carried out and that the level of maturity required is achieved. The quality-related project activities must be part of the project plan. The plans must take prototypes and pre-launch parts into account. If a statutory authorization procedure for a product is specifically required, the duration will be included in the project plan. The project plan will also include the detailed activities concerning procurement to ensure the suppliers are integrated in all activities. The critical path is generated from the project plan and takes account of critical delivery items to ensure that the customer's key milestones will be achieved. All changes made to the project planning will be communicated internally and coordinated with the customer if they are affected. Question P2.4 Is the advanced product quality planning implemented within the project and monitored for compliance? Quality-related project activities will meet the specific customer requirements like the APQP. Detailed quality-related project activities will be included in the project plan. It is also possible to have a separate quality plan that is referenced to in the project plan. The APQP begins with assumptions, concepts and lessons learned from previous projects. The product design and development ensure that specifications and special characteristics are all reviewed in a formal design review and verified through prototypes and testing and included in the design FMEA. 
process design and development ensure that manufacturing techniques and measurement methods like SPC and MSA that will ensure process capability and included in the process FMEA and control plans. Product and process validation of the process quality and volume capabilities is the focus of process capability studies and that the PPAP is ready for submission. Production will start upon PPAP approval. The feedback assessment and corrective action focus on the continuous improvement of the manufacturing process by applying the PDCA approach and updating the process FMEAs and the control plans. Question P2.5 is the first asterisk question in this VDA 6.3 P section. What is the importance of a star question? It identifies questions involving special risks in terms of product and process. The questions are not evaluated more severely than other questions, but is influenced the following downgrading rules on the overall assessment result. For example, if you had an overall 90% A rating result, you will be downgraded from A to B when at least one asterisk question is rated with four points or downgraded from A to C when at least one asterisk question is rated with zero points. Question 2.5 Are the procurement activities of the project implemented and monitored for compliance? The procurement activities ensure that only approved and quality capable suppliers are used in production. This is included in the Supplier Selection Award criteria for the volumes and delivery target date. The level of activity depends on the risk classification of procured scope of the suppliers. The activities also include customer required directed suppliers. The activities have to ensure that only approved and quality capable suppliers are used in production, which also include the equipment suppliers. Dates for the assignment, supplier milestones and release have been laid down in the plan and coordinated with the overall schedule and the progress is monitored. The appointment of suppliers must be traceable through appropriate documentation. Question P2.6 is change management within the project ensured by the project organization. Change management within the project meets the customer's specific requirements. All changes, initiated internally, by the supplier, or by the customer, must be evaluated and if necessary the project plan must be adapted and documented according customer requirements. The persons responsible for change management are defined for the customer, internally and to suppliers. All changes must be evaluated and must include the risk assessment for the product quality as well as that the deadlines will be achieved. Changes are reported in a timely manner and are agreed upon with the customer. Adherence to defined design free steps must be ensured. Exceptions must be agreed upon and documented between the customer and the supplier. All changes will only be implemented once it had been approved by the customer. Question P2.7 Is there an escalation process established and is this effectively implemented? Regular project review meetings are scheduled to review the project milestones and the budget. During the project review meetings each team member must present the status of his or her work breakdown activities and highlight all risks related to technology or supplier which might impact the overall success of the project. The criteria for escalation are defined, responsibilities and authorities are regulated, and measures are established when deviations occur. Milestone review meeting minutes including escalation measures are communicated to all stakeholders to ensure they are informed. The success of the audit process is linked to the experience and qualification of your auditors. Ensure that your external auditors are trained by a licensed partner of the VDA QMC or IATF. You can find all the licensed partners on the VDA QMC website.